Mm. Hi guys, how are you doing? So, with a video like this, I'm just doing it for a number of reasons which will become apparent in the future. So anyway guys, I had a bit of a, a mishap this morning and I got stuck. I got stuck in the bathroom. This is the bathroom door. So this door, this door has actually been here. It might have actually been here before I actually moved into this flat. And I have been living in this flat since 2004. So guys, I want you to look at the door. So the reason why I normally keep the door open is because ever since I moved into this flat, this door has never ever shut properly. The times when I actually used to shut it, it used to be a nightmare trying to open it, even with both handles, yeah? Even with both handles. So I got to the point where I never ever used to actually close this door. So back in the day, those days when I actually used to have people visiting me, people would actually get stuck in this toilet and I'd actually have to open the door for them. So that's number one. Uh, guys, this is obviously for posterity so that people would actually know how terrible this council is. Yeah, this is all about Brent Council because I have been with this I have been with them on this for the longest when I say with them. I'm just using my street slang because I just want to be myself. It's not an English lesson. You know, I have been talking to them all of the problems in this flat. You see the damp that has progressive that has progressively gotten worse. This damp has been here ever since I moved in 2004. What I used to do is obviously the reason why I don't open the windows now for ventilation is because of all of the spying all of the spying it came to my attention much much later it came to my attention that the first time that i was actually stuck in this bathroom people knew about it because they actually had been watching me obviously i didn't know that i didn't know that you you guys that know me, you guys that really, really know me, that understand my personality, just happy-go-lucky, you know, trying to get better, trying to do better, you know, trying to just figure out my own life. I didn't know that people have been watching my every move, yeah? So the people that orchestrated it, I honestly, sometimes I feel sorry for you guys, sometimes I don't, because I think to myself, all those evil things happened you know, to that extent, that bad. And nobody said anything to me. You know, they were still relating to me. So there's that bit of my mind that says, <laughs> and these people, they don't send you. They don't send you at all. Because at the end of the day, if they sent you all of those things that happened to you, they would have clued you in. If you're one of the people that tried to clue me in and I didn't get it, you should know my personality. I'm just a straightforward person and I tend to feel that the way that I'm straightforward is the way I want people to be straightforward with me, with me. but obviously life is not like that. So anyway, back to the repairs and damages. So this is the ceiling. The first time, the man that lives above me, yeah, basically, he obviously knew that I was stuck today. He heard me being stuck, but he didn't pay any attention. But if I'm in the room or if I'm in the kitchen or if I'm in the bathroom taking my bath, he will be doing like this. It's actually a much it's actually a method of torture, you know, that continuous knocking, that continuous tap, 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 tapping. The idea is that it's supposed to actually drive you mad eventually. The man that lives above me at number 15, anybody at all. Who feels that they want to confront him? Please feel free. He's a very wicked man. In the summertime before, what he used to do was he used to use water. So he would be waterboarding me. You know, without physically waterboarding me, he would be waterboarding me. You know, orgily. Yeah, orgily. He would be doing that all day long until eventually, I don't know, maybe God punished him in certain ways. He got tired of that. And then of late, what he's decided is, what he started doing is the tap, 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 back, the tap, 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 tap. But let me tell you, Mr. Number 15 Right House, of all of the things that you have done to me, 
I am still alive. I know that you tried to electrocute me in my flat. I know that you tried to kill me in my flat. You see this, you see this big tear, this big crack in the ceiling that has progressively gotten worse. Why is it there? From the water from upstairs, you can see it. When it started, I reported it to the council. What did they say to me? I called them and I said to them, my neighbor is trying to kill me. See, you can actually see the crack because at the time I was one, I was worried that the ceiling was actually going to cave in. They told me no, that it's just cosmetic damage. Please listen to this very well. As you can see, there's another crack appearing inside the first crack. They told me no, it's just cosmetic damage, that there's nothing that there's nothing that they can do about it. These were the exact words. I believe in this day and age, people are recording everything. I'm not the kind of person that just brings out my phone to start recording things because I'm not of that generation and it's just not my personality. But sometimes I say to myself, God, and I wish you had recorded that. They actually said to me, it is just cosmetic damage. You see the cosmetic damage, you see it has progressively gotten worse because I was just scared that one day this ceiling would cave in, that this man would run the water so bad that it would cave in. But they keep on saying to me, as you can see, they say cosmetic damage. They have put in a light on top of it. They don't care. And I just say to myself, if it was their own house, would they, if it was their own house, would they do that? Would you just come and plonk? See, the light is pretty enough. They just came and plonked it on top of this horrible ceiling. Obviously, as you can see, the damp and mold is worse on top. Obviously, because of all of the condensation and the water that is coming from upstairs. Yeah? We're gonna, we're gonna turn this into a lesson. Guys, don't be surprised. Somebody will do thesis on this topic. Mm. Yeah, he heard me. He heard me struggling with the door. He heard me. The man is such a wicked man. Obviously, the post is not about the nasty neighbor, but I'm just saying to myself, somebody like me, I know myself. I know myself. Even if even even if the person has annoyed me, if I feel that the person is in trouble, I would just I would just help. I would just say, mm, they need help. Let me just help them and just close my eyes about everything else. These people, eh, when you talk about Akbrukandiwa, Akbrukandiwa, as in wickedness, oh, Felefe, wickedness, oh, Juleju, wickedness, Njomba. These people, eh, these people, they will see you. They will see you in the front of shooting gun. Some of them will not answer you. Having said that, thank you to the Good Samaritan that helped me today. Mm? Guys, you have seen it. This damp is a problem. I have been tackling it, tackling it, tackling it, tackling it in my own way ever since I lived here. They want to know the truth. I will tell them the truth. Eh? Telling truth is not my problem at all. They want Ezioku. I will give them Ezioku. I tell them the truth. Yeah? They want the truth. I will tell them the truth. Eh? I'm going to tackle this little by little as much as I can. But this is not my last bus stop. Brent Council, I want you to rehouse me. You can't keep on covering up this problem. You can't keep on covering up. I want you to rehouse me. I want you to rehouse me. Rehouse me. There are empty houses. There are empty houses in Brent. So many of them. Some of the houses lie empty for so long that squatters actually take over. Hmm? Guys, you think I want to spend the rest of my life just tackling damp? Every day, tackling damp, tackling damp, tackling damp. Eh? Eh? They, want, they want my enemies to laugh at me. Eh? They want my enemies to laugh at me. Eh? Just look at this. Like I said, this door, they have refused to replace the door. They have fixed this door. How many times have they fixed it? Once. Only once they have fixed it, yeah? That one time that they fixed it. I, I, I actually, I was expecting to see a new door. What did they tell me? They said, no, we don't fix it. We just change the components. Mm? Asusu, they will introduce grammar. They will introduce grammar as if I'm the kind of person that they can confuse with grammar. Look at the house. Yeah? Look, look. 
all of these things, all of this structural degradation, they are aware of it. There is nothing that I am filming for you guys now that Brain Council is not aware of. I have written to them. Is it letter? Is it letter? Is it email? Who have I not contacted in Brent Council? So normally for those of you that know me, there's an extent to which people will push me and then I'll be like, nah, I've had enough. I'm not having any more of this. Yeah? I'm not having it. Brent Council. Brent Council, you're in my sights. You are in my sights, man, because I am tired of complaining. I am tired of complaining. Look, 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 look. Guys, on top of all this, if you see the way that they demand for their money, hmm, if you like, don't give them their money. Eh? People in Nigeria say, oh, Nigerians, Nigerians, oh, you can't joke with Nigerian. You can't do this. You can't do that. Come to London. Come to London and try to, and try to owe the council money. You will know that you are not hot-headed. The council, they will teach you fire. Hmm? If you owe these people shishi, shishi, I'm talking one cobble. Owe them any money. They are willing, they are willing to drag you to any court in the land to take their money from you. Hmm? The time that I used to work, sometimes I will have job. I'll be crying that I have to be in court. Why? Because they will send me eviction letter because like i said they don't joke with their money eh this is okay this is the floor yeah there is nothing that i am showing you guys that they are not aware of they just say they just say that one mm. they just say that one because because there's so much prejudice because they have heard all of the stories so they're like they're willing to let me suffer but me i say no I say no, look. Yeah, look. Yeah, look. Look at the doors. When I complain to them about the doors, what did they say about the door? That you have to replace it yourself. Look at the door. I don't want to live in this house anymore. I don't want to live in this house anymore. Look, look, look. Huh? There's no door in the living room, obviously, because they say if anything happens to their components, that you have to replace it. Eh? Huh? So I came to London to be buying door for council flats. Look, look at their house. Look, look. All of these things I have reported them. All of these things I have reported. The council are a brand council. Brand council. You guys are going to regret not rehousing me. Because as it is, you guys know that everybody, people see these videos far and wide. Yeah. All of this, this, all of these things that you're seeing here, this is the pain, this is the pain and torture that I was going through. The pain, 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 the pain and torture that I was going through. Like at sometimes the pain was so much that it, we, it, it, it felt as if I had to be knocking my head. Guys, you know, when you see the people in the psychiatric hospital, mm, fake, that fake guy, he said, oh, the woman normally cries crocodile tears. I'm going to deal with them. Anybody at all, anybody at all that wants to make me not follow my God, I'm going to make sure I deal with that person. Because I want the whole world to know. Yeah. See, no door. Actually, when you actually think about it, none of, there's no door. There's no proper door in this house. When you actually think, when I reported it, when I reported it, they said that I am the one that has to buy the components. Their father. Their father. Their father. Their father. Did I come to London to be buying door for council flats? You did crazy. You did crazy. You did mad. You know, your madness don't get remedy. Hmm? Okay. Kitchen. Kitchen. You see all these bits, all these drawers, all these drawers. What did they say to me? They say... They say if you don't have the components, you have to go and buy another one and replace it that they cannot do it. Can you? Guys, oh my God, I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. 
the pain is sometimes the pain is so much like i said instead of me banging my head against the wall i i would start i would i would start i would start using something else mm? because the pain would be so much sometimes uh eh? I understand why the people, you know, those people that you see in psychiatric and they're just hitting their head. They're hitting their head. They're hitting their head against the wall. I understand it. Eh? You want to see the, you want to see the ceiling. When I took a case against them and I reported all of these things, what did they do? One, two, three, four. They brought people in to fix the lights. Why? Because they're spying on me in the house. They want to know what I'm doing. I say to myself, what is it that I have on me that other women don't have? I have breasts, yeah? I have private parts. They want to be looking at that, yeah? They want to be looking at that. They just want to be looking at that. They want to humiliate you, yeah? They want to humiliate you. They want to see you in your privacy the way that you're not supposed to be seen. Let me say this to the whole world. Let me say this to all of the people who watch me in this house who shouldn't be watching me. The people who have access to me who shouldn't have had access to me. I don't know what God is going to do and I don't know how he is going to do it. But I pray for your sake that you're ready. I don't know what God is going to do. See? None of the lights are on, apart from the ones that they have forced upon me. Because the minute they start talking about lights and they're going about, they're taking pictures, taking pictures. My mind, my church mind has already told me that something is untowards. Hmm? My church mind has already told me that something is untoward because I'm like, uh -uh. what is the obsession with lights? What is the obsession with light? You want to put the light on, you want to put the light on. I'm telling you that I've got problems. The doors are not fixed. I need new doors. There's structural damage. You know, the place is antisocial. There's so many problems with this place. What's the first thing you come and do? You come and you fix the lights so that you can spy on me. Why? Because you're nosy about the way other people live. Yeah? You are nosy about the way other people live. Yeah, you want to know how other people live. You want to know their habits. Why? So that you can use it as more fodder to attack them. Yeah. See, my, see, this is what I've been dealing with. I can't remember the last time I made a video that was this long. Because we all know... The longer the video is, the more you're thinking, mm, I, have, I also have other things that I have to be doing. See? Look at that. If I take my time, if I take one hour, buy, bleach, all of these things and decide to myself, let me just use the mop and clean it up. Within how many days? It will even, it, it will be worse again. Yeah? So there you have it. There you have it. Those of you who know how to laugh at other people. Uh, I don't know what you are doing. Uh, and this is and that and that and that. Those of you who know how to laugh at other people. I don't know how you're going to take this video. As a matter of fact, I don't even care how you're going to take this video. That is up to you. I know that when I do long videos like this videos that are just all of my videos are from the heart anyway that's how i came to become a global influencer all of my videos are from the heart because when people watch it they know it's the real me this is what i've been dealing with this is what i've been dealing with this is what i have been dealing with and i have been dealing with it all on my own hmm? My neighbor heard me. He heard me. He heard me. So many of them would have heard me. But you know what? Rather than for them to help me, they would actually prefer to see me suffer. Huh? Rather than for them to help me, they would just prefer to see me suffer. So if you come to me and you say to me, Anne, but what did you do to your neighbor that he hates you this much? 
Do you know what I would say to you? I would say to you, please go and ask him and then come back to me. Because I know between God and man that I have never had any problem with them. Not the one downstairs, not the one upstairs, but they took such a disliking to me. They took such a disliking to me. Back in the day, they used to say, oh, that when a woman is single and she moves into a neighborhood, that people will be scared that ah, she's coming after their husbands. And I'm like, but this is actually London. We're in London. We live in council flats. What is the problem? What is the problem that you have with me to the extent that you infiltrate my life? Eh? Huh? You infiltrate my life. You watch me. You watch me in an unholy manner. What is the problem? What kind of problem do you have that you could possibly infiltrate somebody's life to that level where you're actually even watching them sleep? Jehovah, please. I want to follow you. Jehovah, I want to follow you. Sweet Jesus, I want to follow you. I still remember the day that I put my hand up and I said, God, please, if there is any way that these people are confusing us, yeah, when they are doing one thing with the right hand, they're doing something else with the left hand. I still remember that video and I put my uh, hand up and I said, God, please save us from all of these people. Mm. If there are people who are deceiving us, people who should, who should be for us, who are actually against us then don't let them get away with all of the things that they're doing. God, I want to pray that prayer again. I want to pray that prayer again, Abba Father. If there are people in this world who should be leading us, who should be leading us to a brighter future, people who have been in this business for so long, the business of personal development, Jehovah, if it is possible that such people actually put me in this kind of a situation where I am actually living like this, like an animal, then God, don't let them get away with what they did. Jehovah Father, Jehovah, Abba Father, my Elohim, creator of heaven and earth. Hmm? You are a loving father. You are a loving father. I know that you are a loving father. Because like you said, I am a living testament to your love. I am. I am a living testament to your love. Because sometimes I lie down and I think to myself, these people actually wanted to kill me. It actually took me a long time. It took me so long for me to actually say that to myself that, Anne, wait, oh, these people actually wanted you dead. You keep on saying bullying, 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 bullying. This one has passed bullying. These people wanted you to be six feet under. Tell yourself the truth. Hmm? Guys, I don't know if you've ever been in that situation where you actually just have to sit down and tell yourself the truth that people have actually been trying to kill you. Eh? Have you ever been in that kind of a situation where you 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 just you just wake up all of a sudden you think oh my god they actually wanted my life eh that is how much that is how much that is how traumatic it is guys when you come to the realization that people actually wanted you dead it's not just that they wanted you to shut up they actually wanted you dead because when you look at the sequence of events even me myself i say to myself uh -uh, how am i still here how am i still here to the extent that i can even joke and laugh with people Eh? How am I actually still here to the extent that I can still joke and laugh with people? Eh? How is it even possible? Mm? Guys, so that this video does not get into a 30 minute video. Let me end this video this way. If you are somebody who is in personal development... And you have been, you have been deceiving us for years with your personal developments. Because like I said, up until today, I still don't know how many of you are involved in what happened to me. 
But this is what I want to say to you. If you are those people or that person who is involved in self-development, one word, one hand, you're doing self-development. The other hand, you're doing something like what you did to me. I want you to know that God's punishment, when God's punishment comes for you, don't ask him what you did. Yeah? When God's punishment comes for you, don't you dare say, oh, don't you dare say, why, 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 why? Don't you dare say it, oh. Don't you dare say it. People are not going to, people are not going to feel sorry for you because of you're a celebrity. People are not going to feel sorry for you because you're a celebrity. Eh? Are you hearing me? People are not going to feel sorry for you because you're a celebrity. Instead of that, when it happens, that's why I'm doing this video. When it happens, people are going to say, I remember Anne. I remember Anne and I remember what they did to Anne. Abba Father, that is the way that I want it to be. Abba Father, this is the way that I want it to be. When you decide you want to punish these people in whatever way you want to punish them, let the world remember what they did to me. Abba Father, my Elohim. The skylarking, the torments, the trauma, the social rape, because it's a social rape, that's what it is. The social rape. Eh? The, that, the, the social... The degradation, the degradation, the pure degradation, the extent to which these people humiliated me at home, abroad, far, wide. It's only God. It is only God, the love of God, that is making me to stand here in front of you guys making this video. It is only the love of God. That is what he was talking about yesterday. I am a living testament to the love of God because even me, myself, I didn't realize that the fuck, these people, that they actually wanted to kill me. When I think about it, it hurts. When I think about it, it hurts me so deeply. It hurts me so deeply that I think to myself, what should I do today? Should I pray? Should I get a drink? Should I go and get some drugs? Because Lord knows I don't have another human being that I could just talk to that could just be honest to me. Guys, I even called them. I even called them. I asked them face to face. I said to them, please, what is happening to me? I hate the fact that each time I remember this thing, it makes me cry. I even called them. I even called them. I called them so many of them. I said, please, what is happening to me? Tell me what is happening to me. They, they would be poking me. They would be poking me indirectly by telling me what they have seen me doing in my private time. Even while I'm asking them, even while I'm begging them to tell me what is happening to me, they will still be poking me indirectly. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. I will take my bath. I will go into the streets. Same as usual. I will take my bath. I'll go into the streets. Same as usual. I will buy what I can buy. Any bills that I can pay, I will pay. It. But guys, like I said, I'm going to pray number three. I prayed one, two, and this is the third one. If you're one of the persons who has ever heard me crying in pain, and then you come back to say that I cried crocodile tears, this is what I want to tell you. My God will put you in a situation where the pain is so deep that you cannot even cry. I have been there. I, I myself, I have been to that place where, where the pain is so deep I can't even cry. Sometimes I say to myself, Abba Father, all of these things that I go through, do you, do you want me to just have the understanding or what? Why do you make me go through so much stuff? Because when I got to that point where the pain was so much and I couldn't even cry, I was like, okay, what's happening now? Does it mean, does it mean that my emotions are numb? Does it mean that I'm about to die? What does it mean? In that moment, I had an epiphany. I said, this is why people cut themselves. 
And then I say, I say to myself, I say, Abba Father, is it just that you want me to go through things to understand them? In a way, he said, yes, so that I can minister to other people. Because when you have that understanding, you can actually have that empathy with somebody else. Empathy is different. Empathy is different from sympathy. Sympathy, yeah, you sub you sympathize with the person. Oh, okay. Mm, oh, yeah, you're going through a bad time. Mm, I'm sorry. But empathy is like you feeling the person. You know when they say, I feel you. That's empathy. Like you feel the person's pain because you too, you have been there. I was, sometimes I'm so, I'm in so much pain to the point that I say to myself, me, I'm afraid of blades. I cannot cut myself. But if I was the kind of person who was not afraid of blade, I would probably cut myself because sometimes the pain is so deep that you're not feeling anything at all. And that is how I got the understanding of why people cut themselves. You know, that self-mutilation, that self-cutting that people do. Some, the pain is so deep for them that they just need to feel something. That's why they do it. Yeah? So, guys, this is the longest video that I've done in a while. For me, this is a very, very long video. Why? I went into it. I went into it because I had to deal with so many issues. I had to deal with so many issues. The wickedness of neighbors. You know, neighbors who are wicked. Not all neighbors are wicked. They are kind neighbors as well. Somebody helped me today. I don't even think he lives here. But somebody helped me today. A stranger, a good Samaritan, he did me a favor today. Mm? Because of him, I, I, I got to meet the fire brigade for the first time ever since I've lived in this country. I've never had to call the fire brigade for anything. Today is the first day I met them and I was happy to meet them. I was happy to meet them. They were nice. They were cute. They were friendly. They didn't make me feel any kind of way. Unlike sometimes when people come to this house to do work and I just, once they start talking, I just know, okay, they know my story. They've seen my post because sometimes I'm like in the house and they actually come to meet me with the aggro. But anyway, guys so that i'm not all over the place i've already been all over the place let me just put my wig on go into the streets and handle any business that i can handle today because that's basically the way i live yeah some of you are so some of you are good some of you are like so far gone some of you are so far gone to the extent that it is only god that can help you yeah some of you are so far gone that the only person that can help you is Jehovah my Elohim. But some of you, some of you are actually so good as well. It is just the way that life is. You get good people and you get bad people in the world. So guys, this is how I have been living me, I don't hide my own. I don't hide my own, oh. I don't hide my own. This is how I've been living, oh. This is how I've been living. This is what I've been dealing with. I don't hide my own. I don't hide my own. I am not ashamed. I am not the one that built this house. I am not ashamed. I have nothing to be ashamed of. God said I should stop being ashamed. I should stop allowing people to shame me when i have nothing to be ashamed of so there you have it guys there you have it i am not ashamed i am not ashamed this is my house this is my house if you go online you will see so many pictures of these flats how beautiful i decorated this flat uh, how beautifully i decorated this flat before human beings decided to enter my life and turn it into something else now anytime i look at the walls all i see is pain now anytime i look at the walls all i see is pain <laughs> That's all I see. Anytime I look at the ceiling, all I see is pain. That's all I see. But anyway, let me just end it here. Let me end it here so that I don't give the enemies anything to rejoice over. Let me put on my wig.
Go and find something to drink. Find something to eat. Pay what I can pay. And then I leave the rest to God. <laughs>